Upon his arrival at the headquarters of the Army of Italy in Nice on March 26, 1796, some claim that Napoleon was an unknown figure to his divisional commanders. However, this was far from the truth. Napoleon had previously served as the head of artillery for the same force and had made valuable contributions to the Topographical Bureau with three detailed reports on winning the upcoming campaign. While there may have been initial resentment due to his appointment over more experienced generals, his officers were well aware of his capabilities. Napoleon's command consisted of five divisional commanders, each with their own unique background. The eldest, Jean Serrier, had decades of service in the French army, including the Seven Years' War. Pierre Augereau, known as the Child of the People and Proud Brigand, was a former mercenary and had a reputation for his dueling prowess. André Messina, who had started his career at sea, rose through the ranks rapidly and had already served with distinction in the Army of Italy. Amadie Laharpe, a Swiss officer with a distinctive mustache, and Jean-Baptiste Manier, 